Good morning, YouTubers. Welcome to BMW Programming and Encoding Channel on YouTube. Today we're working on a BMW G20. And we're going to activate these features with FSC code 0173, 0170, and then we're going to activate component protection 01AA, and also roadmap in North America. All right. This MGU, this is an end unit, it's an MGU. He said it was used, so I don't know the VIN number in it is changed. So we're gonna look about that now. Connect via in a cable. All right, there's a coding file array in this. It does look what the VIN number is. Oh, the VIN number appears already written in this. Ministry MW 5R1J048B22 Seems plausible. Four things to be activated this, that, that, and that. That's what a control unit tree look like right here.
we're gonna do this that and also hmm. All right, we're going to import activation codes. They should be on the desktop. We're going to input 170 with this, 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 and 173 with this, 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 and also 14B, this, 14B, 14B, 14B. We're going to go for that again. Say so component protection active of the control unit exchange. Due to an unauthorized control unit exchange, the corresponding protection was activated. After the confirmation of this message, measure of plan execution is terminated. They're supposed to have the component protection measures in it too. Wow. This is component protection D block in these files right here. <sighs> Am I certain? Let me check again. Yeah, 01A is component protection. These are their these three right here. Blum, blum, blum.
The required D blocking enabling code could be determined. Good. Find it. Which are these? It's adding it to the measure plan. So right now, that's where we're going to do it. Activation of D blocking enabling code failed. Like about it could be determined. Service program ABL PRF refurbish process initiator finish it result action field. Okay. The control unit validation file was generated successfully. The validation request file can be used as follows for control unit validation. Via web service ECU validation via SGATE, AOS portal, via technical support. Next up, additional request, blah, blah, blah. All right. I'm going to give the dealership this shit next. I need a copy of this file. Here's that. All right, YouTubers, we um we have to generate a validation certificate for um which we did already, so I think it's on the desktop. It would be in this folder here. Uh oh, sorry, it's not there. It would be in a WinOR document. Where is it? Where the fuck is it? Here is it. After you generate this manually and send it to BMW. They're going to create another file off of that and send it to me, and I should import it in ISTD here using. Um, using this right here control unit validation and so on and so forth all right so measure plan fails to activate component protection with the codes that we have the fsc code so that's why we have the problem there but g20 another chassis i know from ista 4.14 they have to, us to, uh, to do this kind of evil you know all right this is it right here The system checks the file after a few seconds. A new validation request for the VIN number file will be offered for downloading. This is a subsequent required by ISTA. All right, so. All right, so. So, dear senior. The BMW G20. He said, if you're going to switch out, he said, for BMW G05, G15, and subsequent vehicles with Ed Unit 3, formerly called MGU, T if you replace the TCB, the MGU, or the RSE, or instrument cluster, control units, they are linked together, you know? And this should prevent tampering with the vehicle, you know? And he said, if one or more of the components are extreme, the connection then must be reestablished, you know? 
So right here, in order to reestablish the connection, an electronic certificate must be created in a BMW backend and imported to the vehicle. All right. Boom. So it says right here, correction. With introduction of ISTA 4.14.1, the certificates can be created either automatically or alternatively in the manual step refer to in the attachment. So um, this is what they're saying right here. He said if one or more of the following control units needs to be replaced, a secure connection between them be re-established. MGU, if it was replaced, in this case we replace an MGU, a used one. But BMW is gonna check if we uh, BMW is gonna check if we actually ordered an MGU from, from, from their factory or from the dealership in the country which the car is region with the VIN number of the car. If they see that none is ordered there, they're not going to give us that certificate. If we replace TCB, RSC, and the Combi and one of these G20s, one of these series right here, see? the models affected here are F90, F97, 98, G01, G02, G12, G30, G32, F44, F91, F92, F93, F93, F96, G05, G06, G07. And uh, roughly G15, G16, G20, and G29. In the case we're working on this car right here, this one right here, G23 series setup. That's what we're working on here, right here. See that? G20, blah, blah, blah. They also can see it right here as well. Development code, we're working on G20. So, um, there's a reason why we have to get this thing working right here. The application number for the component protection is 01AA. The upgrade index is 02. And so on. And these show rejected here because of the use MGU, someone taken from another car or they buy somewhere else on the navigation is cancelled. Speech processing is cancelled and component protection mode is also basically cancelled. And roadmap of North America is also cancelled. So we need to reestablish these four connections here. And that's what the certificate is there to do, okay? So, we got to close out the session for now and we call it at the end done, bro. We wait until BMW respond to us, okay? I think they're going to tell me to order a new MGU with the VIN number, then they're going to check it again on their system, and then they're going to send me the JSON file, you know, for for us to activate the, the, the system for them, you know? So, um, this is how they do it here. This is what the JSON file looks like. I think I showed you guys before. And um, this is what it looks like. I pretty go so boom and extract it and um, it's in this folder here let us see this is what they, they look like here um, if there's a JSON file here I'd also have the content here in the XML format so if we look at notepad plus plus of what these are this is what it is there's no more data in this other than this all right it is generated on that JavaScript object notation file JavaScript object notation uh, file uh, binaries they use for that. So, um, all right, this is what it looks like here. This right here telling us that the Easter version we're currently using this one. And this is the VIN number we're working with. So, what BMW is going to do is they're going to check the VIN number under your system to see if you purchase a RSC or MGU or a Combi or a TCB. And then if that is not so, they're not going to send us the file that they used to generate off of this one right here. All right, see them? The ECU ID, see them? And I said, the certificate begin here. I said, this is a request. See the request? And it's also the MGU right here. See the MGU? Good. All right, so that's how they do it, baby. Otherwise, we ain't gonna get shit, and we can't reactivate the um, component protection or um, validate the adaptation of a new MGU or a Combi or a RSC rear seat entertainment or the um, or the TCB. You know, this car has a they call it a RAM radio um, radio audio module receiver audio module, so that take the place of the TCB. Let me look back on the car here. Let me see if it's about RAM. Hey, there's a girl's RAM. Oh, it has both RAID receive audio module and also TCB. Well, we're good. Okay, yeah, this one has that. So, therefore, they said if we're replacing one of these, I'll replace this. Or we're going to replace, where's the combi now? The combi. And also, Receipt Entertainment, if this car comes with that. This car is about the 3 Series. I doubt it will come with RSC. It doesn't seem to have a RSC. Otherwise, we'll see it in the description here of the control unit tree. We don't see nothing for RSC. 
We only have this as a part of the whole thing to securitize the car with this and also this. Maybe they use this as well, receive audio module. And I don't know if that will play the role of receipt entertainment. Maybe. Yeah, because entertainment has to do with the radio. So therefore, what is not called RSC on the G20 may be called RAM, receiver audio module. And um, usually RSC probably be on address 37. And then TCB will be on address 61. And then you will be on address 63. And then Combi will be on address 60. So these modules here, one, two, three, and four, they use these for control unit validation so that nobody can steal the modules from the car. If they steal a car, they can put these modules to have them working and adapt it in another BMW with a different VIN number. All the FSC code that uh, work the features in this and in this will be canceled. And also the combi too, you know. We need these for validation. So that's what the JSON file is used for. This file right here. This is generated manually in this study that you see I did earlier on. I don't know if I recall it that part, but I did it only once and so on and so on. Blah, blah, blah. Look, you see the ATM? This is the telecoms module. See that? It's called the base there. This is what you look for. How many different types of module have to be validated? You can see big certificate here. This for this one. See that? ATM. And then this is another one here for... Um, this is a request, and this also is on a request right here for another one right here. And uh, we can look, they're diagnosing addresses 97 for that. Let's just go back up top and look for, oh, there's another one for ATM2 again right here. Um, let me look again. All right, here's I see. Hi, bio. What is it? Bio user interface is probably this. Probably be of the MG right here. And um, if you look into these JSON file that is generated manually, you can look at it. You can see that the control unit is identified here as MGU AD unit, MGU meter graphic unit. And you can look at what the um, the request is for here. It's a request, you see? That is the line for request, and it stops here. And you can look at all these okay information and figure, but you can understand what these numbers mean. Okay, you know, these are generated randomly by the XML uh, generator instead of history. So that's how they make this shit. All right, it's a certificate container that generate these things, basically, put, you know? And, uh... Let's go back up some more and look into whatever. MGU, MGU, you see that? So both the MGU, two control models here I see in it, MGU and uh, the ATM, you know? There was the ATM right here, ATM2. The ATM2 here would have correspond to this box right here. Tele telematic communication box. It's usually called ATM on other F series and probably other E series, but they changed the, they changed the description file for the ECU to a TCB, which incorporates telecommunication box, telephone, and also emergency call. So that's why they come up with that kind of a name, you know. So call it ATM2. All right, so far so good. So far so good. Got to sign off now. Call it a day. We're gonna make part two in relation to this one, and then we ride the rock and roll. Okay? If they responded with the certificate, we can get something done. If not, we have to buy a new MGU. Then we send back the request to them, and then they'll send us the right certificate. Okay? All right, YouTubers. Thank you for viewing my BMW programming and encoding channel on YouTube. Remember to subscribe. I am out. Boom.